Now to the search for a gunman who shot three people outside a Southland liquor store, killing one of them. The deadly shooting happened in Montecito Heights near the corner of East Avenue 43rd and Griffin Avenue. CBS 2's Joy Benedict has the latest on this murder investigation. It was a startling wake up call for many in this Montecito Heights neighborhood. It was just like loud firecrackers, but they were too close together to be a firecracker. Frank Acosta knew immediately that it was gunfire, but he didn't dare look outside. I'm afraid to even walk up and down the street now. It's, it's getting too dangerous. It was on this street corner at Avenue 43 and Griffin that three people were shot early this morning, including a 21 year old who didn't survive. 21 years old. I mean, Jesus, for what? For what? Family members were on the scene almost immediately hoping for better news. But when police took down the crime scene tape, the young man's mother was first to light a candle in his memory. And although not ready to speak on camera, she shared these photos of Victor Cortez Jr., a brother, a beloved son, who loved sports and being active. But at 1:16 Saturday morning, Cortez was on this corner with at least two others. You can see on this security footage from a nearby business, a black sedan make a left-hand turn onto Griffin. 45 seconds later, Cortez Jr. is seen running across the street in the crosswalk. We won't show you how he stumbles and falls to the ground, shot and killed while running away. But fast forward a few more seconds, and that's when you see the same black sedan turn around, barely miss Cortez, who is laying on the ground and then drive away. Police tell us the shooter got out of the car and opened fire, but it's not clear if Cortez was his target. An 18-year-old and 19-year-old were also shot and survived. I hope um, they, find him. they find whoever did this because uh, they're just going to keep on doing it. Right now, investigators don't have a lot of information about who was driving that dark colored sedan or who fired those shots, but they're hoping that someone here in this neighborhood saw something or heard something and will come forward. These are all young people. They're destroying their lives and it's just sad to see it. And sad to see yet another mother forced to say goodbye far too soon. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.